What's going on, YouTube? This is Squids. How's it going today? Finally get to do this podcast that I've been trying to mention for, you know, last couple months or so, and it's finally coming together. Got somebody that's completely into things. They're starting to really dig into it, opening their wings, and I'm I'm really excited for this. I think it's going to be something that people of all walks enjoy. Pretty much the goal of what we're going to be doing is just BSing, talking about series that are current, uh, ones that we love, trying to get you guys into more series that, you know, maybe you didn't even know about or even heard of. Try to get everybody to find something that makes them happy and just, because let's be honest here, there's absolutely so many different series out there like even on like my list alone I, i'm not even like a super high champ and i've got 650 670 on my list so it's it's quite extensive and i'm finding things every day so with that out of the way and everything being said um this is our co-host this is going to be charles he's a good buddy of mine i've known him for gosh i want to say almost almost 10 years and uh like i said earlier he's kind of a not a newbie he's been watching anime for years but like he's branching out more so i'm gonna i'm gonna shut up and just let him introduce himself instead of going too deep into it so yeah take it away charles <laughs> hey thanks squids i appreciate that man uh, hey guys i'm charles um super pumped to be on the show i don't even think squids even said exactly what the podcast is gonna be called um, so I won't, I won't name drop it yet until he, uh, until he jumps in and says that, but, yes. uh, no, I, I'm, I'm super excited to be here and, um, I'm looking forward to it because, you know, I was your, I was your atypical, like shonen watcher into, oh my God, Isekai is the greatest thing in since sliced bread. <laughs> and, um, I just recently started kind of branching out to some other stuff and like, I really, really started to grasp an appreciation for what anime actually brings. Um, as far as the differences in writing, um, in my opinion, just from a little bit that I'm, I'm starting to get into it, are, are far superior to, to Western culture as far as writing. Yeah, yeah, and th that's that's probably actually the best intro that uh, I think you could give is probably better than mine, to be honest with you. <laughs> but yes, as Charles mentioned, this is this is series is called. We're going to be naming it Squid Tales, and. We're going to be working on the, uh, I'm going to be working on the actual logo this week and it's going to look a lot better, but it's a work in progress. It took, it took, it took a while to think of the name even, but Charles came up with it and it sounds amazing. So we're going to go with it and hope it sticks and see from that. So with that kind of all the way, again, the introductions done, I figured, uh, we just kind of get into the topics we're actually going to uh, discuss today. Figured at least to kind of get to know Charles more. I mean, there is me as well. I do have a couple lists out there on the tube, but we're going to do a couple uh, categories here and just kind of discuss. Um, we're going to do five animes that are nostalgic to us, almost mean a lot, that got you into anime, whether they're, you know, great series, not a great series personally great series you know it doesn't matter if, if you loved it and it means a lot to you that's where we're putting that top five and we're going to do five more right after that and we're going to talk about the more recent ones with i i personally gave charles the criteria within the last year to pick five more and it was i'll be honest with you that was probably the harder of the two to come up with because this last year has been just ridiculous with just good crap but anyways i think i'm gonna let charles go first uh with his picks and i guess it's really what do you kind of want to do do you want to do like a like a one from you one for me or do you want to do yeah i think uh i think what we'll do is uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with my first one and um and just kind of reiterate a little bit this is the nostalgic list is probably going to be maybe a little short and sweet you know uh, <laughs> we're probably going to have to do a yeah. wide variety of conversations about each one of those topics because uh from my perspective on how i looked at this list was kind of um i guess the introductions to anime yes. and and you know t today's standard probably wouldn't even classify some of these things as anime <laughs> um as far as that goes so um uh, there's some good ones in there, and and definitely think you guys should should check them out for sure. Um, uh, whether that's you know 
in, in the near future. Just put it on your watch list to get to, to get to it. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah most definitely. <laughs> so yeah, take it away, man. You go. You go first. All right. So uh, my first pick uh, is is my opinion a general classic because this is something from my childhood. Um, it's not a series. It's a movie. Um, it, it's Princess Mononoke. Um, which I think uh, has stood the test of time as far as uh, quality writing and storytelling. Um, and the animation isn't, isn't horrible either. And I think that uh, it's one of those uh, animes that if, if you haven't seen it, um, you need to go watch it now uh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and I, I think that's, I mean, even I, I'm not the hugest um, Studio Ghibli fan myself, but Mononoke and like Grave of the Fireflies, those movies have just, they've yeah. withstood the test of time. They are so good so yeah that's that's definitely a good start <laughs> and to keep in mind we don't know either of each other's lists we just kind of said here's this criteria let's go straight for it and we'll find it out while we're doing it so these are these are genuine you know reactions so all right so if that's the case i think this was also another tough one because i have so many that really stuck with me and like changed my directions as a watcher and enjoyer of the medium and so for me just narrowing it down was really hard but you know i guess we don't want to go on for hours and hours today so we <laughs> that's the only problem is the restraints but there's always the next weeks um <laughs> so i think the first one i picked was uh, actually one that's not super old but it definitely like changed a like i loved it to death so much that like i kind of started watching more of that genre and uh that would be parasite i thought that one was oh um, yes <laughs> it was so close to my list i almost had that on my list it's so good yes. Dude, and i don't know like and the worst part is i just watched that like last year ish like mid i think it was late last year like it's only yeah. been like yeah. four or five months because probably when it hit netflix no, I actually have the box sets. I've had them for oh wow okay. since they dropped, but I just I've always been like, ah, you know, I'll get to it eventually. And then finally so many people were like, dude, you gotta watch it. You're you're gonna love it. And Incredible series. Yeah. So like I'm actually thinking about probably rewatching it at some point here soon. It so, just and, and and so some of the conversations that me and Squids had, um, you know, as we were as we we're building up to making this podcast and it was like, you know, I can only think of maybe a handful of animes that I've actually watched more than just one, one, one time through. And, and Parasite is actually one of the ones I've watched three times. So yeah, it, um, it super holds up. That. Great choice. Great pick, yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. It holds up every freaking time. Like I've only watched it once, but I'm going to rewatch it probably in the next month when I got some more time here, but it's just like, I haven't really seen many series like it, honestly. And the way it intertwines and like, not to spoil anything because we're going to try to resist doing spoilers on this series. But if we do end up, you know, I'm definitely going to give a heads up skip to, you know, whatever time stamp, but it's just like the, the ending was like, not, not just atypical. like typical, atypical, right. It wasn't like this, like happy, you know, this happened, this happened. It was like this, 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 and there you go. Like that's, you know, it, yeah. it, it was great. And, and, and the, the thing is, too, is it closed out so well, and and mm -hmm. so many animes that are one season um, do not close out really well. Um, yeah. Even if they're if the manga continues, they don't find a way to to uh, end it properly. Yeah. And so this this is why I think it's it should have made my list, but in actuality it, it didn't. But um, it, it's because of the fact that it. it, it it paces really well too. There's not a lot of filler. Right. Um, I'm trying. I'm resisting so hard, just dropping like specific things that are happening in that series. But yeah. It's definitely a great. Piece. And it's really cool how a lot of like, I mean, obviously a lot of series do that, but like how like every interaction like intertwines with each other and like leads to like yep. certain event. I don't know. I think it's a really great series. Like I, like I said, and like you said, I, I'm definitely gonna be rewatching it soon. So, but yeah, that's my uh, that's my first. So. uh Let's uh, let's hear your next. Yeah, one. <laughs> great, great, great. Uh, so so actually, I, I didn't name it off or anything like this, but uh, so my number four pick um, uh, stands out to me because it's basically it was my childhood too. Um, you know, it's uh, and this it's actually might be on, on on Squid's list too. So I'm gonna steal it from him now at my four spot. Um, is is Yu Yu Hockey Show? Um, it it 
I I think that that um, a lot of people would say like, oh, Dragon Ball Z really got me into anime, and I'm I'm like, Dragon Ball Z is not an anime. It's, it's so Americanized. <laughs> <laughs> it it, it lost its title it's a cartoon, you know. Um, but uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, I think, was the first series that um, I fell in love with uh, as far as anime go, and, and and made it put anime on the map. Yeah. Um, it, no, I I totally agree with you, man. It's like. I don't want to get too deep into it because it's your pick. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly knew, to be fair, I knew you were going to pick that. So I didn't put it on my list. <laughs> so I'm like, I, you know, he's going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. But like, no, for real, man. Like I've watched you Haka show. I want to say like probably 10, 11 times. Oh yeah. Oh, I, yeah. What's, your, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite arc? My favorite what? Arc. Oh God. That's a toughie. Um, yeah. And I don't want to say the dark tournament because that's what everybody says. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's the classic easy pick. I like, I, you know, honestly, it's not even a full arc. I really like, I do love the demon world arc, like yeah. a lot, but the only thing that like, kind of is disappointing was like, it felt I, rushed. It felt a little rushed, which I understand because Yoshi, you know, with his health conditions and everything didn't get yeah. to like, do what he kind of wanted to do at the very end of the manga. But I love that arc because that whole sense of like the whole series is just so much growth between the characters yeah. and that you get to watch them like evolve, you know, as a person. And then like the relationships, I, like you said, no, no spoilers, but damn. Yeah. If you haven't watched Yu Yu Hakusho, what the hell are you doing? Cause it's the better version of Hunter Hunter. So it is the better version of Hunter Hunter. Um, <laughs> you know, Hunter Hunter crossed my list as far as like, oh well, you're not top five, so we're gonna move on. But you're, it, you're good, you're okay. That's not to say that Hunter Hunter is a bad series. Don't get me wrong. No, not at all. It's and just, I'm, I'm excited if they're gonna continue on. So there's some rumors about like it continue on with it. So I'm just definitely on my my yeah. radar as far as if they ever decide to do that. Well, I don't. I just you're not gonna be happy about this news then. I hear that uh, Yoshi's on indefinite hiatus for the manga as again. Sure. As of a few weeks ago, so hopefully he can close out the series and we don't get a berserk situation. But oh gosh! <laughs> so all right, I guess I'll do my next one. Stop praising you, Haka Show. Um, this one I don't, <laughs> I don't think Charles has probably ever watched this one, and I need to rewatch it because it's been a couple of years now. But I really thoroughly enjoyed it. it was uh, the pet girl of a uh, Sakuroso. And like it's it's pretty much your twenty four episode rom com about like this kid who just doesn't belong anywhere and hates his life and it it goes through trivials and and, and like freaking trials and it in the end it, it probably is one of the most satisfying conclusions for a rom com series and that. And, and the main the main character's girlfriend she's a cutie she's <laughs> so that also works out in the favor too so but yeah that one's really hard to get into without getting into spoilers that's why i was hesitant to get onto that one because you know with like serious like serious like rom-coms it's like if you give a slight detail that's gonna like the hardest genre but yeah that's that's definitely my number four the rest of them i will discuss more but if you haven't seen that one, I recommend it. I know it's on high dive. I've seen it advertised like okay. consistently. Same with uh it's not on my list, but uh real real girlfriend, the one I told the one I told Charles about a couple weeks ago. I think that's on high dive too. But we won't get into the uh crunchy roll funimation think, distribution shit yeah. here. So <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's act real girlfriend, I believe, is actually on Crunchy, I believe. Is it? I, I think I I think I saw it. Don't okay. don't quote me on. There's so yeah. many titles that are so close together. Well, that's um, just it. It's but like, like, like it, oh, you can go. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you could. We're you probably could. gonna jump on each other a little bit throughout this uh, podcast, guys. So we. Oh, do we? That. It's gonna be yeah. bad. <laughs> but we will try. <laughs> we're, we're very passionate in our own ways, and we, we try our best to allow allow the other person to talk. But yeah, um, what I was gonna say is, is is one of the things that I touched on earlier about uh, the. the, the Eastern style of writing um, and how well they do it at, at building a story and, and, and making people go through these trials and tribulations in the growth aspect that I think that a lot of Western uh, movies is really lacking. I think this has been kind of the big push for me to get more into anime is because 
um, of of my childhood, enjoying the stories of movies and television shows and things like that, and then losing that on the western side, and um, and seeing all these different avenues on, on the eastern writing. Um, that that there's literally an anime for anybody, um, and 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 I've grown much more of an appreciation for that over the last couple months, actually. Yeah, no, you've, you've like out of nowhere, you've really started. I don't know what what happened, but like you just. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a switch that was flipped. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give off my number three. Um, this is this is near and dear to my heart. It's a very very good classic uh, one that that uh, I wish wish could have continued on. Um, it is Claymore. <laughs> um, if you've not seen this anime, I, I definitely think you should go see it. It's it's from the uh, weird concept into it's very dark, uh, violent. Um, it it it. it it scratches that itch and it still has a lot of great story building also in it. Um, so, so uh, again, it doesn't get left, left to the wayside by all, by any means. So Claymore is definitely a, a top nostalgic pick. You didn't even talk about how awesome the fight scenes are. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, it's, it, you know, because the, the, the thing with that is, is that I think that the, the story is probably undervalued. Well, right, it's got I suppose. such a great story. Yeah, I, that's that's true too. But it, they definitely add to it, though. It adds to the the value of it, you know. <laughs> because you definitely. get shows that have like really terrible animated, boring, basic fights, just like drive me nuts. I can't stand watching them. <laughs> I like. For, I can't watch. Yeah, like my hero. I, I can't. I can't. Mm. You know, it, it again. I was in that. It was in that pool of 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 watching the mainstream stuff and not really understanding or realizing how good yeah. anime can act. Hey, so you um, can't be too wrong. A lot about... of times with push. Oh, you go. Sorry again. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like what 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 gets pushed in front of you a lot of times is, is uh, as far as the American culture pushing specific things at you. It's kind of. For someone like me, it's it's easy enough for me to like, oh, you know, I like I like anime, it's good stuff. And then like you just kind of get force fed isekai after isekai, and then you oh, get yeah. uh, you, you know uh, a nice like uh, shonen type builder. You know, it's it's nice to go to that too. Yeah, we sometimes we need a break from a uh, demon slayer. Demon slayer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's the worst part is like. I watched that, not to get off the rails here, but I watched that <laughs> when it first came out. Because I remember my kid was just being, she was like just out of the hospital. And like, I think it was like week two. And I'm watching it and I'm like, this is going to be, this is going to be great. Let me wa watch. And then I get like six or seven episodes in and I'm like, nothing's happening. <laughs> yeah. I'm like it's a lot of story. <laughs> oh dude, it was just so slow and then like the second season got a little better and so far this third yep. season's getting pretty good but like man, what a terrible way to start a season. Or a series. Yep, for sure. But anywho, off uh off of that derail there. <laughs> I feel like that's probably going to happen a lot, but you know what? That's good. Conversation. That's what that's what this podcast is all about. That's right. Conversation is good. <laughs> My my number three is uh, a series. It's one of the chapters of a series because there's a f quite a few chapters in the series. Um, uh, this one's gonna have to be uh, Utawari Rumano part or technically season two, um, of the Monogatari series. And oh man, let me let me tell you that one specifically. Like I love that whole series with a passion. Like if I really wanted to, I tried to make a video about it but like uh -huh. i didn't know where to start because it's okay so we're gonna go off here we go so the, the monogatari <laughs> the monogatari series is like technically he releases them chunk by chunk and the actual watching order if you want to get into like how the timelines actually set up to the closest amount from like starting point to like where the ending chapters are you actually have to watch it in a slightly different order than when the animes were actually released in so like it's it's it's, it's already that complex you got freaking vampires you got freaking the paranormal it's pretty much as huge paranormal but the the main like focus of like the main i think personally to me one of the main 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 messages of the series is pretty much just like 
you know, don't listen to other people. Believe in yourself. And, like, if you want to accomplish something, you can do it. Don't put yourself down so much, you know. Attempt something and go for it. Because Definitely. your demons are going to come, and it's not it's not going to be pretty if you just keep fucking yourself <laughs> and then and then between that like 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 he said with like claymore he didn't say it but i mentioned it like the the action scenes are good i will say though um it is definitely a, a has some has a little bit of etchy scenes but it's also like a harder one to watch i guess if you're not into sub because it doesn't have an English dub because a lot of the context, I guess, from the, like, you'll understand it from the subtitles, but there's a lot of, like, play on words and everything in the series that if you're not, like, an actual, like, Nihong speaker or Japanese, it's not going to, like, click for you, but you're still going to freaking love it. So that's my number three, and I, I like I said, I could go off, but we're just going to, we're going to end it there, and maybe I'll make, maybe I'll actually make a video <laughs> about that one someday, so... Off to you. Well, I mean that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of the point of the the podcast, as far as as far as this initial burst is to kind of give introductions and things like that. And, you know, if if you guys in in the chat or in the uh, comments, you know, if you want us to talk more about a specific thing that was mentioned, like bring it up, man. We'll we'll talk about it at the next podcast. And, yeah. You know, expand on it. Um. So so yeah, drop in the comments and and, uh, and let us know. Um. So my number two. Um. I thought really hard about this number two pick, and the reason that this is my number two pick, I think, is because um, it, this is in my time when I was when I was a kid growing up. Obviously, childhood, Adult Swim started becoming a, a big thing. So, for those of you that don't know what Adult Swim is, uh, <laughs> there there used to be a, a network called Cartoon Network, and essentially, it was it was mainstream Western um, um, cartoons on it, and. Uh, at, at the you know late hours of, of the evening, you know like uh, you know eight eight nine ten eleven o'clock at night, uh, th they did things a little bit more like geared towards the uh, the older you know crowd. Not necessarily when I'm saying like thirty year olds or anything like that, but eighteen twenty two <laughs> something along those lines. Older than children. Um, yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. So um, definitely a lot of series is that I remember from Adult Swim, um, but one of them stands out. Uh, in particular, to me, it was Outlaw Star, uh, the better Cowboy Bebop. Uh, that's that's a, that's a hot take right there. Um, the one that's uh, not just a soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I and not to bash on any animes, right? Because you know every anime is great in its own way, and there's definitely a fan base for it. But um, I just I just don't understand cowboy bebop i just i can't well i just can't put my brain around it <laughs> before you get into that like actually ironically cowboy bebop's actually like not popular at all in japan like not many. oh really? that makes sense yeah that it was like they me. pushed it so hard on like toonami and shit that there's like a bigger fan base in the west than there is in the actual country it was made so which to makes be complete fair, sense to me yeah you got that last started was way more popular so you're on the right side yeah. here but get going <laughs> yeah yeah so i mean outlaw star is definitely um uh uh you know it's it it's a space cowboy it, like literally what cowboy bebop is is space cowboys bounty hunters pirates um you know the federation so to speak as far as like the soldiers and things like that uh a giant dynamic around um you know uh magic and and, and mixed between technology and magic uh um which is which is just a, it's just great concept and uh, uh, definitely definitely a recommend if you guys have not seen Outlaw Star highly recommend you guys uh, watch it and if you have seen it you know drop a comment I'd love to read it and see exactly what you guys had to say about um, Outlaw Star because um, there's a reason it's my number two for nostalgics um, yeah honestly it's, 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 like it's, I always say in my videos comment below because like I love having discussion and I know Charles definitely loves to have discussion too so I mean like talk we will read I, i'll read every comment at least i enjoy reading the comments and going through everything so it means a lot so yeah just reach out do what you gotta do if you want to talk about it just like he said earlier too it doesn't even have to be about like the things we talked about like you know just you know shoot crap <laughs> <laughs> i like i like i don't know i like getting opinions like even if it's not something i discussed and it kind of leads to like a side reel i don't know i like having these discussions with people because like it's like it's unlike i don't want to say that it's not but like besides more or less not to throw it under the bus but like 
the shonen crowd like besides like those and the ghiblis for the most part you can have actual civil good argumental discussions with people about anime series and like not get too butthurt about it not to call it any groups but uh like naruto or (laughs) dragon ball or especially full metal alchemist right now but Oh geez! Don't get me started. On hey, that. you know what? You know th- th- those have their place. Honestly, they really do. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Naruto um, was, was is an anime that that I definitely watched as a child. And to be fair, I don't think if I hadn't already watched it as a child yeah. that I could watch it today. Oh, gosh. but I have a, I have a great great appreciation for the actual writing of that, uh, especially when it transfers into uh, Shippuden. Um, and then, and then that storyline, how it carried on, um, and then, then the last of us or, uh, 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 Naruto, the last, sorry, uh, part, pardon me, Naruto, the last, the movie, um, you know, it, it brought a lot of memories, um, full circle for me and, and it, it really hit hard and I'm not, I'm not one that goes out and buys tons of anime. I used to pirate everything and stuff like that, but, um, that was definitely a movie that I went out and physically bought because, of of uh, the meaning that that movie specifically had for me. Yeah. And then we won't even talk about Baruto. Baruto doesn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> hot take number two. <laughs> there going to be so many fucking hot takes. Um, <laughs> gonna, gonna cause trouble. I like it. No, I mean, like, honestly, like, I actually went and rewatched Naruto, I'd say probably a year and a half ago, and I watched the cut that a fan made actually online where he cut all the filler arcs out. Yeah. Holy crap, it's so much better. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> if you cut all that yep. unnecessary filler out, it would be a pretty damn good series. But Naruto is so fucking notorious for it. It's like on neck and neck with Dragon Ball. Like It is so bad. Oh, oh man. I don't know if you could beat three three episodes of Powering Up, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, to be fair with the Frieza arc, it was they, the studio was ahead of Toriyama. And they had a stall. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. I remember coming home uh, from school, yeah. and they restart the season yeah. back to the beginning. Yeah. And what would happen is, is that it would play from the very beginning to the point in which they, which it was at, and then you would get one new episode, and then you would come <laughs> back the next day expecting another new episode. No, and start from the beginning. That's right. It, it would start all the way from the beginning, and then play all the way through. And then you get one new episode, and then every now and again it would actually play through twice before you got another new episode. It was, it was, yeah. And and I watched them all, so I mean, <laughs> like, I, I was I was very corrupted by Dragon Ball Z, and it didn't make my list, but um, it definitely had a big impact on oh. my life for sure. I mean, me, I mean, fuck me too. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm still gonna talk shit about it. <laughs> yeah, well, we can because you know what? I, I they they sat me through. I can't tell you how many reruns of it. I was gonna say I could get a new episode. So even, I, I deserve to be able to talk crap about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I I remember I'd get off the bus because I think I was like, cause what shit? Did, I think I was in like second grade. I want to say because what tsunami started busting that shit out. What ninety nine two thousand? I think. Yeah, somewhere. Right yeah, because yeah. yeah, I started. I I started like watching it every day i get off the bus because for at first it was power rangers for years like oh yeah yeah you know super, super sentai and then i found out about i don't even remember how i came across uh, dragon ball honestly but like i think i was just scrolling through one day and i was like this this looks dope and then the next thing you know <laughs> the next thing you know you're watching everything that fucking toonami had on there so you're watching like shaman king and and Rony kenshin oh, yeah. and freaking zatch bell and freaking that whole art uh, you oh, Hawker show, Bell. <laughs> yeah, dude. Not many uh, people remember Zatch Bell, man. Like it was pretty. Oh, I remember Zatch. It was it was pretty. I I should probably rewatch it before I open my mouth, but it was pretty good. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, coming from the brain of a ten year old, I mean, a lot of stuff it seemed pretty good, uh, for sure. Zatch Bell is definitely not, <laughs> not on the bottom of that list of stuff that was on Toonami for sure. Uh, I, I can I can go out on a limb and say that. Okay, well then I'll I'll rewatch it and then I'll 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 uh, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on that one. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, my number my number two pick is uh one that I I don't think I've actually made a video on it, but it's one that's in a series of like it's a trilogy, but it's not it's not like a cognitive trilogy. It's uh pretty much just the author 
or the director, because they're original works, if I remember correctly, pretty much just made three separate series that are all like kick ass girls with guns, psychological thrillers. Because <laughs> psychological, okay. psychological thrillers are my shit, but noir is like, so you've got, I'll just kind of like give a general premise and then I'll, because this one's like, it's a psychological thriller and those are like the bee's knees for me. And, um, I can't express enough. Like, if you've watched Steins Gate and you enjoyed it, you'll probably, even though it's, like, totally different, but, like, that same kind of, like, general feel, you'll probably love noir. Um, Another, like, more modern, I'm trying to think of other ones that would be comparative to noir, but I really honestly can't. So, essentially, you've got this gal who's lost and doesn't know what the heck's going on and she's found by this other gal who is like a a hitman she's a hitman we're just gonna get right into it they call them noirs and they live they kind of travel the world they're in france and she the other girl that she found doesn't remember who she is however um blondie had a hit for her that's how she found her in the first place is she had a hit for the girl that doesn't remember her name all she knows is she woke up with a pendant and a handgun and somehow knows how to shoot it well fight all that crazy stuff and like it's it's insane and like the plot twist and like you expect one thing and it's totally completely not what you're looking for and it's got a killer soundtrack because like i love soundtracks soundtracks are they make or break a show sometimes, if that makes any sense. Right. Not like, not oh, necessarily yeah. as much as the plot, obviously. But like, if you got like a, just a terrible soundtrack to like something going on, it is, it's not, it's not Gucci. <laughs> so like, I, I mean, you can convey a lot of emotion and, yeah. and feeling for individual scenes based off the music that's playing. So right. A soundtrack can be very important to uh, storytelling and general so yeah. totally understand where you're coming from yeah I, like i even actually have the uh soundtrack on my spotify playlist <laughs> so but yeah so if you're into like you know like dark mysterious don't know what the hell's going on shooters that you kind of pick up piece by piece as you go along this that's that's for you like i i i give that series a nice a nice nine out of ten so Oh, wow. Okay. So I got to put it on my watch list. Got it. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, it's not on my list, but there's, it's part of a three part series. And I watched the third part. Uh, it was like last fall. And that was the only one that I didn't enjoy. So two out of the three, I really love the other one. The one that I didn't enjoy was, um, El Cazador de la Bruja. It's got a nice Spanish name for some reason. Yeah. And then the other one, I'm trying to think Mad Lax. Yes. Love Mad Lax. That was the second one. I, th- that's what, that was the hardest part for me for number two. I couldn't decide if I wanted to go with Mad Lax and Noir. And I just knew Noir, man. Like it was winter time the first time I watched it. It was all dark. Night time. I had a had a nice PBR in my hand and just like ah, you know, <laughs> let's, let's put this in because I wanted to get more into that genre because I was not to say I was getting burnt out, but like I I was in a, a period of slice of life anime for a good chunk there. And <laughs> once sure. you, once you've watched enough slice of life, you've kind of sad to say watched most slice of lives. <laughs> yeah sure sure i can get that because <laughs> i mean it's pretty much just casual living like right but well you know sometimes you just need a chase change of pace you know and that's that's what mm. honestly you know that's i think that's what's really expanded my horizons in the last couple months so um, you know it, it, and and getting that that desire that need for something else that you, you weren't getting from where you're at and there is an yeah. option for that in anime for you to get um, any, any kind of story that you're missing as far as like, I didn't even realize I love these things. And then yeah. you're going to watch, you know, um, um, all the best of, of slice of life, for instance, you know? Um, yeah. So I, I definitely hear where you're coming from. On that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just it too. It's like, <clears throat> there's so many genres and, and like, it's the, and this is all biased opinion, but I think honestly, for visual media to consume, I I always think I thought since I was a child that anime is the best because I mean granted when I watch like you know real movies 
I, I usually watch like comedy or I'd say horror, obviously, but like horror has dropped so much in the last insane with comedy. Anyways, we're not going to get into the whole political shit, <laughs> but, but like there's no, just, man, anime is away from political. Yeah. Political there's stuff. political, unless, unless you're watching a political anime, um, <laughs> I got those too, <laughs> but <laughs> Hey, something for everybody. I say it again, <laughs> but that, yeah, it's just, it, you can do things. It's like video games. You can do things that you couldn't do with a real person and make it good. You know, right. like just like perspectives and situations and just action scenes and it just so many things you can do and it endless ways to express them. It it's it's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um yeah. yeah, for sure. hundred percent. Um so before I give uh um my, my number one pick, um I I I, I kinda struggled for uh for my number one pick because um it's it's something that I think today I don't look at it the same way that I did um, growing up and watching it, and I feel like it's 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 re- rethinking about it, relooking into it. It's like man, that wasn't as good as I thought it was, but you know what? It was still great, and I think it um, it, it was a great story, and and uh, not not short of its filler for sure. Um, so it had a lot of that too. But, um, oh it, boy! It's a typical nostalgic. It, well, it, it's a typical nostalgic, you know, great anime. Um, yeah. but Before I before I, I, I announce my number one, I just wanted to do a couple honorable mentions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Let's All right. Hear so so um, it's just two honorable mentions. But uh, number one, um, Pokemon. Uh, I think that anyone that's anyone has watched it. So I felt like it didn't necessarily belong on my list because um, I think everyone's watched Pokemon. And um, I personally didn't put it on my list because I, I myself did not uh, continue on with it. So I, I'm missing so many arcs of Pokemon what? where I haven't seen them. <laughs> what? You don't want to watch Ash? And- you don't want to watch Ash go throughout the whole, <laughs> the whole world in one year. But in reality, it was two, 25 years. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But anyways, um, but it, it, I, 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 you know, I digress. It, it was yeah. great. Um, yeah. um, lots of childhood fun. I think that all all kids, as they grow up, no matter what generation they grow up in, I think that they can watch Pokemon and really enjoy it. Oh so yeah, it's definitely. definitely, um, definitely if you're if you're in the photo. older group like me, if you're in the older group like uh, oh, uh, me and Squids here, um, <laughs> and you have kids, definitely something to expose them to because it's good wholesome stuff. Um, but uh, and then my number two, uh, um. um uh, of uh, you know, honorable mentions. Um, Gundam Wing. Gundam um, Wing. I think that Gundam Wing had some had some great stuff on it, and and, and some stuff that was really bad. Um, but I think <laughs> that any, any anyone that grew up in the in the late nineties, uh, early two thousands, um, I think can can appreciate what Gundam did for them. Um, um, as far as their exposure to anime. So that's why I, I, I just kind of want to name drop those two things. Cause I didn't think it was going to be on squids list. So I figured I could, no. I could name drop them. And, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't figure they were going to be there. So I figured I'd yeah. them out there. So, um, uh, my number one pick, um, and, and by no means is this like probably not even in my top 10 anime, but as far as nostalgic picks, I think that, uh, um, it, it is, it was without a doubt. One of my favorites, um, is Roroni Kenshin. Yeah. Um, um, Maroni Kenshin is is uh, uh, Samurai X for those for those that are, are really paying attention. Um, Good old Samurai X. <laughs> yeah, I mean, w- without a doubt, one of the coolest characters I think that you could ever like. Who doesn't want to be some bad a warrior of the past that you know uh, it you know finishes off the war and then tries to, to live a life life of, of peace. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you get that uh, back. And, and, what the hell was the name of his katana? I, I assume, uh, reverse blade. Yeah. I just, yeah. Cause I remember it, obviously the blade was on the inside, but I need to rewatch that it, myself. It, I, <laughs> I don't think it, I don't, I don't know if the blade itself had a uh, specific name. I know a lot of the blades in the anime do have a name. Yeah. Um, I just couldn't remember if that one did or not, but I, I want I you know what I, I kind of remember there being a name for it like in one or two episodes, but it's 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 not a um, main yeah. referred to as the reverse reverse uh reverse sword blade or whatever yeah. something along those lines like throughout the whole anime. Um but uh um definitely a great uh um 
uh, if you like action uh, with with wild storytelling, um, definitely something you know as far as the past goes with you know samurais and swords and things like that in the Meiji era in general. So if you're a fan of that stuff and you haven't seen the Ronin Kenshin, definitely something to check out. Yeah, yeah, dude, and, and then obviously this uh, July we got the reboot. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Which... I'm, I'm. That, that's another reason why I mentioned it was because yeah. of the reboot. I think that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I hope I hope I hope they do justice to it. Yeah, and I've been following that for like two years. They announced that like two years ago, right? And like out of nowhere, they finally dropped a trailer last summer, and but they didn't give a release yep. date or a year. And then they finally like mid year, they were like, "Oh yeah, by the way, it's coming out next year." No, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just been it with these. Gosh dang, these reboots is like they're just coming out of nowhere and like. Like fruit baskets, did I, I don't know if right. you ever watched fruit baskets or not? But uh, I have not watched it, but I will say uh, my wife is um, relatively big into anime for the yeah. most part, and fruit basket is definitely one of her favorite series, and she was super pumped. Did um, she for a second season of that? See, did she, did she watch the reboot? Uh huh. Yeah, the reboot, honestly, in my opinion, was better than the original. Yeah. I did it so good with it. The only reboot I've been disappointed with so far, sadly. And I mean, I enjoyed it, but it was a little dicey at some times. Was actually the uh, Shaman King reboot. Okay. I, I Two animes that I have not watched, so I can't really comment too. You didn't watch but, Shaman uh, King? No, no. So um, my childhood, Shaman King was after. A I lot suppose of that was I like 2005, 2006. Yeah, that was a little right. Past so, so we got to remember, I'm, I'm a little bit older. Um, <laughs> and so, so <laughs> 2000, 2005, let's just say I, I was I was 19. Um, you know, lots of hormones. I wasn't necessarily had a lot of free time as far as uh, uh, watching anime. So, yeah, my, my um, anime anything that, consumption that, dropped at 19 <laughs> as well. So. <laughs> yeah <laughs> too too much else going on as far yeah. as that goes i actually remember i remember squids actually um uh, when he was when he was actually a little younger before <laughs> all the uh all, all the uh the changes that he did to himself actually <laughs> um he probably doesn't he doesn't probably remember me but i remember him coming around the uh the shop that i worked at quite a bit uh um Without getting too personal. Well, right, right, like right. That, so. We'll talk about it after, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like Squid said, we've we've known each other for a long time, um, um, and and you know we really enjoy this podcast so far. Um, as far as the the, the theory of what we want to do with this thing, um, um, I'm just gonna kind of interject a little bit here. Oh, you're um, fine, man. Uh, before before Squid drops his number one, um, we are gonna have something because I am I'm a little. I don't want to say newbie-ish, but I'm a little bit newbie-ish to a lot of the different genres. Like I said, um, you know, the, the my nostalgic picks were kind of my baseline um, in isekais um, yeah. as far as as far as my my anime knowledge base goes. Um, and so we want to do a, a segment uh, each week uh, where I'm going to research and and watch and, and expose myself to to a new anime that I I personally haven't seen. Um, and what we would like uh, for for everybody in the comments to uh, maybe drop some ideas, suggestions. Um, um, you know, and, and like those other comments, you know, if you're, if you're thinking the same thing someone else did, um, um, like that comment. So that way we know that, Hey, there's more than one person that wants to see that, uh, talked about, um, from, from an experience that isn't so broad. Um, yeah. and I can give an honest feedback on, on, on it for not knowing too much about it. I can say, you know what, Hey, you were right about this anime. This is great stuff. Um, and, and so we're going to try to do that segment, um, every week, um, going forward also. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know. I figured I didn't know when to bring that in, but that's a, that's good. This is a good spot to do it. Yeah, and even like, <laughs> even like, for instance, if it's one I haven't seen, I'll probably, oh, I will. I'll also watch it before we talk about it with Charles, obviously, and give my two cents after he does. But like, even if I haven't, wait, even if I have seen it that's what i was looking for if i have seen it i'll obviously maybe glimpse at it again but for discussion at least that way i can get a little more in depth especially if it's one i haven't watched in like five ten years i mean i could say i watched it but let's be honest here unless it's like a stellar one if it's been five ten years you got you got little fucking notes that's about it <laughs> yeah you can only keep so much in the brain and i'm i'm so busy mentally all the time it's just, it's like it's like a hamster wheel up here man 
<laughs> but yeah, Hampsty's getting kind of old, dude. Yeah, man, that hamster's got back problems, and you know, <laughs> he's got back problems. <laughs> Mine's going everywhere. Projects, ideas. It's yeah, hamster's getting old. So. Anyway, I, I totally enter. We didn't even get to hear your, your number one nostalgia after the after the uh, runner ups, or was or was or was uh, Ronnie Kenshin actually the Ronnie Kenshin? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Ronnie Kenshin was my number one. Yep. Okay. Yep. I, I had to make sure because I'm like I didn't know if there was like two runner ups or if like you just I can. Good to know. Good to know. And I also realized I fucked up earlier in here already. Episode one's fuck up. I, I okay. So my number one is actually. <laughs> Awadi Awadi Monogatari, which is what I meant to describe for number three, because Utawari Rumino is a completely different series than Awari Monogatari, but my brain was looking at number one. So the whole description I set for number three, it's actually number one. <laughs> and, and the description I'm gonna give right now is actually for my third one. So this is a good start. <laughs> but but okay, so technically Utawari Rumino is a series about this man who just wakes up in the middle of the woods with his mask on his head and gets rescued by two girls. And this, in this world, it's, it's, I don't want to get too in depth with spoilers, but these people are like humanoid. They're not a humanoid. I'm trying to think like demi humans, almost like with like animals and stuff, but mostly human esque features and he doesn't remember who he is where he came from another one of those situations i guess but he it, it like progresses if you're into like i guess building up what's a good like a good example of that but long long story short pretty much he builds up this country and like a situation happens that gets involved and like ruins a lot of things for everybody and it it is so good but there's a the third season of that one actually just aired what was it it was winter 2022 so it's been about four or five months but yeah dude that's that's another great one that i would recommend because like the the first season dude i i spammed the hell out of that thing all 24 episodes were down in like a day (laughs) oh yeah for sure and then you watch the second season, you're like, this is amazing, too. And then you get to the third one, you're like, oh, great. Now I got to wait every week because it's airing. <laughs> and it's funny because, like, it, I, I seen it was airing. And I'm, oh, this looks pretty badass. Like, I watched the first episode, and I'm like, I think I'm missing something. So I, right. I looked it up online, and I was like, yeah, there's 48 episodes before this. I think I should probably watch those first. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, say I've ever not done that. Yeah, right. You're like, you know, they know each other and they're acting very casual. Hmm. It, it, <laughs> they, they're acting like I should know things about them already in this history. Yeah, yeah, that, that it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Oopsie. I said, like, there's my mind again. I like already swapping three and one with names and numbers. All right. I was Definitely. never, I was never Definitely. good with names and numbers, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I suppose we got, we got that out of the way. Now let's, uh, discuss like the more recent ones like what's what's something yeah. you know the things of the last couple of years that really caught your eye or even like airing right now um but do you want me do you want me to go first for this one or do you want to go first for this well, one what i'll say is, yeah i'll let you go first and, let me, uh, and let me i was gonna say charles is a little different perspective because he but i'll let him discuss that so <laughs> yeah yeah so um obviously i i i've, I've, I've watched my you know specific animes that have been going on for the last you know few years or whatever and and, and kind of try to maintain those specific ones because i've so, been so involved in them um but like i said most recently i've got a list that are, are, are in the middle of or just finished yeah. um their their season um recently um one of them um that's on my list um uh, technically ended um uh in 2020 but you know covid things like that as far as i'm concerned it was a year ago no um, that's we're, that's we're gonna enough yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, the reason i'm also selecting this is because there is is more coming out soon oh. um and when i say soon it's supposed to be um i believe winter of 23 which is technically 24 oh, I, um, I already so, know what that is <laughs> <laughs> you might i don't know maybe you don't actually i don't know if you do know that i might not uh, last time 
it, last time I checked, I believe it was supposed to be winter of uh, of uh, twenty three, which is which is. Let's see, you know, it's we're only in spring twenty twenty three right now season, but like it's gonna go fast. It always does. Like, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. For some reason, you're like, oh god, that's another year, and the next thing you know, it's airing, and you're like. Is the time just fly really quick, or is like what the hell's yeah. going on? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, 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 this was a tough list for me too because yeah, um, I, I, there's definitely a lot of stuff that I'm like, oh man, I'm, I'm gonna watch it when it comes out for sure. Um, but I, I think that um, my new experiences to um, the the genres that I've just gotten exposed to have captivated me so much that they're they're in my my top five watch right now list um, yeah. for newer stuff. So um, uh, without further ado, I'll let uh, let Squid's uh, name off his number five. All right. So number five, like it, to be fair too, I I kind of sort of put these in order, um, but not necessarily. But uh, number five is uh, <laughs> Paripe Come. Oh my gosh. So that aired last year and it's like, <laughs> so I don't know. Do you know much like Chinese lore at all? Like history and war and all that stuff? You know, um, I, I probably know more than I think I do. Yeah. Um, as far as that goes, Did like you play you ever like dynasty about, warriors, probably, you know, um, um, no, but okay. I, I go back to my previous statement that I, I I'm pretty cultured in general. Yeah. Um, so I'd be surprised if I don't know nothing about nothing. Okay. But um, okay. So you know, so if, if you if, if you give me a little bit, I'll probably pick up on some of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So Coming or Kome is uh he was a Chinese uh, war advisor, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's in the final or the uh, Dynasty Warrior games. But what happens in this series is he uh, dies, obviously, in his time. And wakes up one day in present. Um, I'm trying to think what part of Japan they're in. I want to say Osaka, but it might not be. But he wakes up in Japan and he thinks he's in hell. <laughs> and like, because it's Halloween night. <laughs> okay. So like, he wakes up and pretty much falls in love. He ends up at this club and falls in love with this chick's voice because... Well, she's it's the voice actress ninety six Neko is a fantastic singer, so I can't blame him. But <laughs> but and he and instead of uh, making war plans like he did in his past life, he want he ends up wanting to dedicate his new reborn life to bring world peace and show the world uh, her music, and uh, he becomes her <laughs> counsel and manager. And it it the the soundtracks and every oh man, it is. I love that show. I I just recently bought it on Blu-ray because it came out, and I rewatched it the moment it came in the mail. Cause oh, I love that show. That's so good. <laughs> it's such a far-fetched <laughs> concept that like oh, it's true. like where did you come up with this idea that some Chinese like war diplomat gets reincarnated in Japan and wants to bring world peace and and uh, have this girl become the biggest idol of all time to spread across the world. Who knows? Like I said, there's a, there's an anime for everybody out there, and, and I I you know I, I look at Squids and I, I I like see some of the stuff he talks about, some of the animes that he's really passionate about. And I'm like, man, you know, like that's a, such an obscure like concept for an anime, and, and like uh, you, you wouldn't think that that would even exist. And that people would like it. Yeah, it's, it's again, I go back to the to the Eastern writing is just is just unfortunately superior to the Western. Oh yeah, writing. yeah, it's and. Really cool goes. It probably helped the series too that the intro song popped off hard everywhere. And like, you, sure. I, I don't know, you probably never heard it, but like, I could send you a link sometime. It's catchy as shit. But that's another thing with music again, man. Like, intros, they make a big fucking impact. Like, yep. if you don't got a good intro, yep. you know. I'm I'm not a big music buff, but I could, I understand the power of what music can do for sure. Yeah, and sadly, I'm a. Uh, I, I if we want to get into it, I mean, I'm a, a musician and and I've produced a little <laughs> bit and I listen to usually, I'd say, usually when I check about eight hours of Spotify, nine hours a day. Oh, geez. It's a problem. Well, I, I suppose with your, with, your, with your job, I suppose you can. You yeah. Can that a I lot. just have my headphones in and I just bust. So, 
That sounds yeah, really yeah, bad. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this, this reference, this is not a G-rated podcast, guys. Um, if you couldn't tell from uh, you know, some of the foul language. And, and topics, you know, we might actually even cover anime that are probably um, you know, you know, R-rated uh, in a lot of ways. To be fair, uh, my demographics on YouTube right at this point at least are like, for the most part, 18 to 30-year-olds. So luckily, I think we're a little safe there. <laughs> but yeah that's that's uh that's my number five so uh I'll let you take it away yeah um and for my list um i definitely look just looking at the list right now i i i'll say that um majority of them are all um, um still in the, in the middle of of airing so there's not too much content out there yet yeah that's that's fair but um that being said um so I recently got exposed to stuff that's that's outside of Isekai and Shonen um stuff. So so rom coms have kind of become my new like man, well, these are so good. Um so so currently um my number five pick it, it, these this list isn't necessarily in order, but yeah. um my number one and my number two are my number one and my number two. Yeah, um, I was gonna right say now, that, that that at least that part, they, yeah. <laughs> they they, they uh, so the, my number, well, I will talk about it now. We'll, we'll just get into it. So my number yeah. five is my, my love story with the Yamada Kun, um at level um, 999. And that story is so unique in a lot of ways that I was like, wow, that's a really cool story. But at the same time, I don't think I would have started watching this series if I didn't already watch it, uh, a couple other series that uh, Squid's got me on. Um so that being said, uh, my love story with Yamada Kun, a uh, really cool concept uh, about a girl um, who uh, uh, not big on video games, but starts playing video games. Um, and, 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 and without getting too much spoilers, um, you know, uh, falls in love with the, with the main character, obviously, like every love story does. <laughs> um, and, and, and the dynamic of their relationship on how it started so far yeah. um, is it, it's so hilarious. And, and it's got so much comedy, but you can already see the building blocks for a great series. Mm -hmm. um, just in the first, I believe there's five episodes out now. Um, yeah, yep, there's five. Yeah. Yeah, the building blocks of the series have been really great. And like, I, I don't even think Squid's actually had even started it yet. And I was like, dude, you got to check this one out. You got to check this one out. And, and <laughs> he was like, all right, all right. If you're, if you're saying it's that good, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. And then, like, next day I messaged Squid's and I'm like, did you watch it? And he's like, yeah, I think I got through two episodes. I'm like, there's three episodes out, man. How'd you only watch two? <laughs> I got to <laughs> you know, I, I gotta get things. back and watch that because I got to get watch the rest of them now because I got up to three now. But okay, sure, sure. it's it's like oh my god I not it's a really good series and like I do this with a lot of shows but like for some reason when you're watching like seventeen eighteen shows sometimes a season gotta gotta it, refresh it that yeah, yeah yeah and it's not like a chore I still enjoy it but like some days I'm just like man not today ah <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, let's see here. <laughs> what do I got for number four? Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. This one was, I want to say it was last summer. Um, It was uh, Akiba Maido Senso or Akiba Maid Wars. That show was intense. So, like, <laughs> the base premise is there's this girl that moves to the city, some prefecture in Tokyo. Not that logistics matter. And she, her goal in life was to become a, uh, a uh, work at a maid cafe. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so she comes to this maid cafe and she starts working there. It's called Oinky Doinks. And like the theme of like these cafes in the city are mostly all animals. And you come to find out that like within the very first episode, mind you, if you, if you're not into like gore and senseless action, this isn't going to be for you. But holy crap it is so bloody violent like you find out like all these like made all these made like businesses are like it's almost like the yakuza like it's like the freaking mafia it is just ridiculous and the, oh man there's a hierarchy and like the ending is like not a happy i mean it's happy but like there was like some moments in there that i was like did you really did you really just get rid of that person <laughs> you fuck you i love her 
but yes so that's that's gonna be my number four because man that i don't know i think it got a lot less well reception than i think it deserved to get because of you know a lot of people were expecting some cutesy made thing and you got a fucking bloodbath so <laughs> okay with it you know and, and I'm, I'm a big fan of um you know uh not to throw out a bunch of different animes yeah, here but i'll go, go into style real quick because one of them could be on your list i don't think it is but i won't say that one yet um but like a comic got killed i felt like um every time that a character started you know building up and they were starting to kind of give it some backstory all of a sudden they killed them off yeah it's just kind of like wow you know, it's like you know i love animes that can take risks like that and actually kill main characters off oh yeah um, you know uh, to go go kind of quote unquote real world you know like walking dead for the longest time <laughs> you know when they would kill off main characters so to speak or characters that had built up relationships i think that adds a lot to the story um and, and it's a lot of risky writing and, and it, it takes a lot to pull that off and when you can do that and still make a good overarching story i think has has a bigger impact because of that so i mean um, actually uh, that sounds like a really good anime i might have to I might have to check that one too which one uh, uh, the one you just named. Oh before. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, seriously, yeah. If you, if you, I think that one. Sadly, I know that one's on high dive because I watched it with. Uh, huh, I watched it with another buddy of mine at his house. So I know, I know that one. Sadly, is on high dive, which I know a lot of people like. Here's the thing: we're gonna get in the studios here. Uh, yeah. So Funimation, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> but like, the thing is, is like, I don't know. We we can get into this all day, but like. I'll just say this. Uh, Sentai picks up a lot of my favorite series for U.S. releases. That's all I'm going to say about that. So anyways, uh, what's uh, what's your number four there? <laughs> so my number four is um, it had to be an isekai. Um, there's definitely a lot, of, uh, a lot of good isekais out there that um, I'm a big fan of. Yeah. Um, and, and I could name drop them because there's definitely stuff you should, that, that should be checked out. But um, um, this one actually might be on your list. I'm not sure if it is or not. I don't know if you put any guys on there, but this one here might be on your list. Uh, Emirates of Shadow. It wasn't on my list, but it was close. <laughs> oh, so the reason I chose that one over a lot of the other guys is I thought that it was it was fresh enough to where it should be named over some of the other ones that um, you know, like the. Uh, uh, I don't think this was on your list either, so I'm going to say it. Uh, like uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. <laughs> yeah, um, no, that's not there either. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt if you don't have any isekai on your list. You're not a big isekai fan. So, um, but uh, uh, emergence of shadow, I thought was it was really great. Um, um, I think we even had a conversation about how it, oh, it yeah. started off like your typical uh, isekai, um, and then obviously it molded it to its own story. The writers got really creative, and yeah. I think they did a really good take on what uh, isekais are in general and and they they kind of went past that now it's like it's no longer about uh, a, a person being in another world it's it's him living his own life in this world um and, and they don't touch too much on the fact that he's from another world anymore yeah um in the later episodes um and and i thought they did a really good job it's definitely definitely one that you guys need to check out uh they've already announced the season two i believe yep. um for it um so definitely looking forward to that uh, yeah, that's like yeah and like i also i don't think it's really that much of a spoiler but since it is an e i guess an isekai but like i really like the the perspective of when he goes from his normal self to shadow yeah. Yeah. I, the just the duality of that within one person the fact that he can hold that for so damn long is like really intriguing <laughs> yeah yeah he, he's definitely a really really cool character and his personality in general yeah yeah no i i i like i like you said it it the first half of the series i was like you know people are really raising this on a pedestal on 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 mal saying it's it just wait just wait just wait and i'm like you know i've heard that so many times and i've been so disappointed and then just like one one day like episode 13 14 i'm like fuck <laughs> that, that it, you know it's got to build the story man it's got to build the story and, and you gotta you know you gotta do it right it just felt like it was weird though because like for, for a period there just to me personally it just didn't feel like it was moving that fast i think that's what my gripe was honestly and then like out, sure. of, out of nowhere it picked up and like we got like characters and like oh man and like i'm not it's not really a spoiler either but man let me tell you i really want to know more about a uh, older elf girl 
<laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, chick yeah. seems very mysterious. I want to see. I want to see where this goes. So, but her yeah. characters. I, I assume we're talking about the same one here, but um, the one the that auntie. Or, or... Yeah, the the sister, the one that was, the one that ended up eating a whole bag of sandwiches. From yeah, so so her character definitely comes off very like um, ditzy but super powerful. Yeah, and, and I kind of like that dynamic a little bit. So it's kind of a cool character for sure. Um, but yeah. uh, uh, and mysterious. I, I feel like there's a, there's a few characters that it's 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 it is a little harrowing, but um, <laughs> not not like super hardcore because I feel like the main character is pretty oblivious to a lot of it. Uh, which, which they usually always are. Uh, I mean, honestly, I think but, I think he just wants to get his, his his objective done before the post comes to comes to mind. But he's doing a good job. <laughs> hey, man, that's a man with priorities. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get your job done before you can have fun. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> I guess I'll do number three now. <laughs> so number three was uh actually just last season, so it was winter twenty twenty three. Um, I loved, 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 loved this. Um, Buddy Daddies. So this one, a lot of people, yeah, yeah. So it's uh a lot of people were comparing it immediately to Spy Family just because of the basic okay. fact that. The two main main characters are also hitmen, but the story and like the way it goes is like not even relatively close. Where Spy Family is more of a goofy, like friendly thing, this one actually had like a lot of dark moments. And like a lot of people that actually pay attention will probably realize that literally my bottom three are all from PA Work Studios because the last three things they have done have just been so freaking good and out of the park that I just want to go there and pat them on the back, but. <laughs> The thing that's like the main the main premise of this is like these two guys, they're just kind of like I'd say early 20s. I want to say early 20s. I don't really specify an age, but early 20s. They're just kind of hitman kind of doing what they want. One of the characters is kind of a bum, plays a lot of video games unless he's doing his jobs. The other one's pretty much the, the house bitch. Um, but they go on a mission one day on Christmas Eve and. Um, whew, let me tell you, a lot, a lot of things happen, but. Long long story, non spoiler short, they acquire this kid, and okay. they end up raising her. And it, like the the main, I'd say the main, well, first until the last episode where they do time skip, but um, it's it goes throughout like a year and like the things that happen and like just like learning how to deal with um, I'd say learning how to deal with like your personal problems in life, like. It's it's really good and it's freaking hilarious, but at the same time, I cried a few times during the series because I cry a lot. I learned over the years that <laughs> I just like crying because because hey man, you let out a lot of emotion when you let some tears come out. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't. We don't talk to people here. <laughs> we. I talked <laughs> to about four people. One of them's talking to me right now. So. <laughs> so we don't. We just. Uh, we. Uh, we get our sad on. But yeah, no. Really highly recommend that one if if uh, you ever get a chance to. Because like I said, I'm really looking forward to the next thing that PA Works does because they just keep knocking it out of the park. <laughs> And I, I'm loving it. Loving it. And this one was also an original series. And I believe Akiba was. I know Pradipe Kome was based off a of manga. But those other two, I believe, are originals. Which is even more impressive. And the animation holds up for all three of these shows. So, slow clap. That's awesome. Slow clap. All right. <laughs> Golf clap. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's my number three. All right. So, my number three... Um is probably without a doubt my number one um it is a standalone in in the genres as far as things that i i, I actually watch um there is a, a, a huh oh nothing nothing i'm just making weird oh. faces you keep talking <laughs> um so so it, it, it is sport themed um so it's probably there's <laughs> probably uh, already tell squids what it is but yeah. it, it's um it's Hayaku. Yeah. Um. It, there's four seasons out. Um. Uh, the the story 
of of a kid who um, sees something on television. Uh, obviously, uh, if you're not familiar with haiku, it's it's based off volleyball. Um, and so he sees this guy who is, is a little guy, but they call him uh, the little giant. And this is this is in the first scene of the first episode, so I, I you can't even qualify this as a spoiler. Um, yeah, that and uh, he 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 sees this guy who's, who's this little guy, and, and they call him the little giant because he he's he's so big without being actually big. And 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 um, uh, Hinata, the main character, um, gets so inspired by this and and decides he's going to take on this life of wanting to play volleyball and become just like the little giant and his character um, evolves so much over episode to episode season to season um, um, to the point where, uh, where it currently ends in season four, they've got so much story left to tell um, not to rain on everyone's parade, but they're, they're in the works now to quote unquote, finish it. Um, but there, it's going to be two movies um, when they could have probably done at least two seasons. Well, come on, um, don't so you want to sad about that? Don't you want to see it in theaters? So, I mean, to be fair, I do. Um, but there, if it comes out in theaters, we'll, we'll go in St. Cloud. If you have a chance, we'll go. <laughs> no, 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 we'll make it work. We'll make it work for sure. If, if they play it, if they play it in the cloud, we're going to go for sure. We'll make it work. I'll take days off. That's fine. Anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there, there's basically four big, um, I don't want to say arcs, I don't think that's the right word for it, but big four things that, that are still left to happen um, in the series. And I don't know how you're going to fit those four things into two movies, so that really saddens me. But just the, just the development and, and, the, and the building of, of this kid's story um, about... I, I can't really get it, get too much into it without without actually doing spoilers. I would yeah. love for us to do do an actual full on video of Hayaku. Um, yeah, it it, uh, it can be done eventually. Yeah, yeah. Like without a doubt, is is it's my most passionate anime, and it's probably the only reason I'm still in anime. Obviously, there was a lot of like in the nostalgic picks. There's a lot of animes that were like, "Hey, this got me into anime in the first yeah. place." Yep. Hayaku carried me. In anime for the last four to five years. You sure it wasn't Yuri on Ice? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was not Yuri on Ice. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's still on my <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought but, we uh, had something, but anyways. <laughs> but uh, I mean, sports animes in general were, you know, Ugh. they just don't seem that great. But this, this without a doubt, is, is, is a must see if you guys have not seen it. Um, it's probably the only reason I've watched Blue Lock. Yeah. Um, and if anybody, if anybody currently watching Blue Lock really likes Blue Lock, I think that um, expand on the on the possible. I I don't know where Blue Lock's going to go story wise for the character development. I think that they've probably come full circle for the most part, and there's only a little bit left to that arc. I just kind of thought of the Highlander part. the whole time. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. No. Nope, no. Nope, that's exactly. It's what like it the, is, right? the, high, the soccer of Highlander. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which is which is great. That's a great analogy for yeah. that series. Yeah, yeah, dude. Blue Lock by all means is good. Blue Lock is really good, but um, I think it pales in comparison to the story writing. But if you're yeah. looking for something that's not violent but very action packed, um, yeah, great yeah. storytelling. Tons of character building for all different characters, including the supporting characters. Um, there's two. There's two uh, main characters. You got uh, Shoyo Hinata and um, Toby uh, Kagayama. Uh, Toby Kagayama Tobia. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, I, I always get You're surnames welcome. at first. <laughs> <laughs> first, the first names and surnames. You know, I'm still newbieish when it comes to like uh, like using uh, proper Japanese etiquette when, when explaining a lot of this, and I might butcher titles and things like that. So um, I'm too Americanized, but hopefully <laughs> um, throughout the course of this podcast, I'll develop a better skill at that. Yeah. But Daijobu, um, Daijobu. <laughs> <laughs> Shishi. Um, uh, um, but yeah, uh, Haiku, without a doubt, my number one all-time favorite anime. Um, highly recommend that everyone checks it out for sure. Yeah, dude, dude, no, I, I, I can't agree more. And like, just a just a touch a tiny bit on like Blue Lock. Another thing to add to is the animation's really good. Like they they did pretty well dang good in that show. 
It is well done for sure. I mean, granted, you know, Japan still lost the World Cup uh, last year, but <laughs> it was looking good for a while until they faced the actual English, and then uh, the uh, the you uh, know, anyways, <laughs> it was looking good. They had potential. Blue Lock was raising it, but it fell short. Um, so <laughs> number number two is one that I'm actually reading the light novels for right now. Um. Just started. I picked up all six volumes at your local Barnes and Noble. No sponsorship, but that's where I went. And uh, that would be Summertime Render. Oh man, this one I think a lot of people it had pretty positive reviews, but I think a lot of people dropped a little bit at the fact that I the ending was not satisfactory to them, but I thought it was a very satisfactory ending and they closed everything and people say shut up. But the main premise is um this this guy moves to Tokyo the day he turns eighteen because he's they live on I can't remember the exact name of the island, but it is a real island that is in Japan and they live on there. I know it's not Okinawa. Um even though that, Japan's a whole island. But anyways, anyways. <laughs> um <laughs> we're just we're just getting into the nitty gritty here. And uh the, the main, pretty much the main thing that that island does is fish. That's like the only thing. And there's like not much promise of any jobs there. And he decides to come back. Um, sadly, this, I mean, it's the first episode, like you said, so I don't really consider this a spoiler, but uh, he comes back because the person that he was living with, um, pretty much the same age as him, uh, she ended up dying. And pretty much right from the spot, it's um not reincarnation, but if you've watched, have you watched any ReZero? Um, yeah, I watched a little bit of the first season. Of yeah, I think, I think we talked um, a little bit about that a while, a while ago. Yeah, but I, I just I could. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna butcher it. <laughs> Fair. Um, <laughs> no, I, it, it's not that I hate it. It's just I, I, all right. We're gonna go off on a tangent. So this is, this is we knew this was gonna happen. So ReZero to me, um, hey, it was really tough you to, to get alone. into like, <laughs> it was tough for me to get into the, uh, the, the the concept of it in the sense of like the first like couple episodes of him just repeatedly being useless. Hey, I, I just, I, I, you leave Natsuki alone. I, I I just I don't I just couldn't I couldn't deal man it was just it was just like all right I I'll I'll put it on the list I'll watch it I'll watch it but it's just like I I'm gonna have to kind of I think stomach through until I feel like it gets good I would say you'll start loving the second half of season one which hey it was, it was hard enough for you to get through emerge the shadow you know you had to get through fifteen episodes before you started enjoy but it. so I I, I, don't I know. was addicted I don't know to zero the from the start but. Though. <laughs> I don't have the dedication you guys with. Well, we got season three. I need, the chat to tell, I, I, I need, I need everyone to get in the chat and tell me <laughs> I need to watch it. Force me yes. to watch it so that way I have the choice. You <laughs> have to watch, even though that's a. I oh, don't know, man. It's, uh, we're at episode, I think there's 49 plus two OVAs, and season three got announced. No release date, but I was very, very happy about that. But summertime, <laughs> anyway, summertime, summertime render, uh, the concept of like, um, uh, the main character, he gets to the island and pretty much gets introduced while he's getting there to like the spirit of her. Like she comes and contacts him and tells him that pretty much keep my sister safe and figure out what the fuck happened to me. Cause you find out that it was a murder esque event and we need to find out what the hell happened. And there's so many things set up and like, it's definitely a mystery action. And like, there's like dustings and trails. And the only reason I brought ReZero up is because there is the concept of the fact that, um, he does die a few times and, uh, he does get started back at a certain point and continues forward. And the more times he dies, the more forward it goes. And he's only got so much time before esque happens, uh, more than just, because obviously he can't go back to the murder point, but pretty much from the starting point that he gets to the island. And it, it just keeps you on your seat the whole time. And it's, oh, I loved it. It was so good. I, and the soundtrack, <laughs> whoo. But yeah, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's where I'll go with that. And it's really cute, the love, the love aspect too for the show. So I'm, I'm a sucker for that. So. <laughs> Hey man, no, I, and and you know what? To be fair, that kind of that kind of segues into my number two pick. Um, yeah, let's hear it. That I I, I it's re-zero, Throughout my it? life, obviously, 
Nah. <laughs> <It's not recent. laughs> I knew it. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I've always been a fan of a lot of rom coms in, in general, like comedies that are that are romantic. So like the love stories and things like that. I'm always like you know tolerated them and watched them and things like that. And, um, you know, I'm I'm a, a big hard exterior, but inside, I mean, I think most most alpha males like myself. Um, <laughs> you know, right at the bat, he's like I'm um, an alpha, but <laughs> uh, we, we're big we're big softies on the inside, you know. Especially yeah, yeah. when it comes to kids or, or young love or you know you know the experiences that you see and you're just like. You know that's that's great, man. That's that's really good. You know to watch the development and things like that. I think you made a video recently um, covering a, covering a, a, um, a topic, but we, we won't. We'll, I digress from that because we'll talk about it later. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Um, before the podcast over, but um, my number two is uh, more than a married couple, but not lovers. Um, oh yeah, I covered that whole series. So <laughs> absolutely quintessentially like instantly shot itself into my top five of all time just based off of how that anime made me feel um as far as i could i i saw a lot of the stuff that was going on that was happening as far as relationship development um between two people that didn't think they were going to even have a relationship together that were forced to be together um and it's just crazy to think how um the, the writing itself is, is, is told just like how real life happens. And I thought that that really stood out with it. Yeah, um, it's very it, realistic, it, actually, honestly, which is really nice. I mean, the premise is something that's kind of weird that you never would have thought like would be an actual thing that could happen. But if it did happen, the way the relationship is developed is very, very much how I can see it, it happening. And, um, you know, obviously there's a little bit of, of love triangle type, type stuff going on. Well, there, you have but, to have a um, love triangle. Yeah, it, you don't have to have that. Uh, okay, this isn't this isn't, this isn't uh, you know um, Sakura, Naruto, and Hinata. Hinata, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> um. Anyway, like obviously, I've, I've got my favorites that I'm pulling for. I think Squid ha ha has a favorite that he's pulling for. I'm pretty series. sure it's the same um, person. So uh, I know it's the same person, yeah. but I mean, let, let's just put it this way: I've I've always said. Um, you know, it, watching animes like that have ended early or that, you know, I'm waiting two years for the next thing to come out. I'm like, I need to yeah. read the mangas. I need to read the mangas. I need to get into the mangas. Yeah. Um, and, and, th and this anime was, was at the point where it was so good. It made me read the mangas. And, um, I, I'm all the way, I was all the way through chapter 58, uh, within probably, I don't know what, what, what was it? I think because me and, me and Squids talked about it. I think it, it was the two days. At most. It was probably two days. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 and I, I think a lot of it was because uh, the first day I'm counting is like after I finished the series. I think yeah. I stayed up for another three hours reading like three, 30 chapters or something like that. And then I had like the next day I finished it. <laughs> I can't remember. Going, like, 12 did you find that one or did I recommend that one to you? I can't even remember, honestly. I found it. I you found did? it. Okay. No, okay. no, I found that one. Yeah. Um, so uh, it was like an anime recap that had popped up on, on my on my, uh, on my my YouTubes. And yeah. so I watched about 10 seconds of it. And I was like, wow, this looks really good. I'm like, let me see if it's a, if it's something that's out there. Yeah. And so I'm just like, you know, obviously searching, you know, uh, Crunchy and boom, it pops up. I'm like, sweet, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. And, and, I, and like after that point, I was – and then like I think I messaged you like the next day about it or something like that after I watched like five or six episodes. About yeah. Yeah. Of season one, yeah. Um, so super pumped about about that series to where I, I, I read read the manga first time ever, um, and then uh, episode or chapter uh, fifty nine came out today. Today, and uh, you know, I, I, I like uh, on my lunch break, I read chapter fifty nine. <laughs> um, you know, and, and it started off at the point where I was, it was like. Uh, well, this is this channel is not about manga, so I won't get too much into it. But definitely a series to check out for sure. Hey, Amen. Um, if you love love stories at all, reality, um, it's it's definitely a must watch. And, and like I said, it instantly shot itself into my top five. Or just even the fact that, like, I mean, another. I'm pretty sure it's probably your number one, but uh, another series that another it kind of does the same thing, where like, um, maybe not to the same degree. But the fact that, like, these people have, like, this, like, m mostly the women, but they, like, act, like, certain ways, but in reality, they finally start to, like, come out of their shells and, like, be who, yep. who they are, not just this, like, persona, I guess, and just... It's it's the growth of character development. Right, I mean, it's, it's, yep. It's, 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 
you see it's it's easy for me and Squiz because we have kids and, and so <laughs> those people out there that you can see these kids, but you watch the cognitive development, right? From yeah. being one year old to two year old to, to I've got a seventeen year old now now and, and um I hate her at old. sixteen. <laughs> I'm, I'm old, yeah. Um, uh, um, but uh, you know, I, I hated her personality at 15 and 16. But I absolutely love the woman that she's growing up to be at, in her later 16s, and she's yeah, 17 dude. here actually uh, next oh. week. So, um, you know, I, I I love that aspect, and so I really yeah. connected with with the story and and how they're you know. Um, well, we were talking about uh, more than a married couple, so we'll just talk about that right now. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, you know what my number one is. Yeah. So, so we'll get into that anything. right after I get num- number one here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, but uh, uh, it, it's the, it's the watch that this this guy who who essentially doesn't have a personality, and he was super um, out there in, in, in the open when he was in middle school and things like that, and, and tried out for things and did things and was kind of exuberant, but then kind of became a shut in recluse that um is rediscovering himself as as uh, um getting more out there you know and, and, and different things change your aspects on how you look at life by oh, yeah. the involvement the interaction that you have with people completely changes the dynamic of your future you know like i think that um I'll, i'm gonna go ahead and pat myself on the back because I, I i push squids to to do this podcast in general and i, <laughs> and I think that he would have eventually gotten around to doing it but i think that he got more motivated seeing how motivated I was. Yeah, definitely. And so b- between the two of us, it, it, it became a reality. And, and, and um, I'm, I'm grateful to have a, have, a, have a place to talk about anime um, and, and to grow my appreciation for, for the, the art that is anime. And, and so this is just, it's just a great experience to be here and, and talk about this kinds of stuff. And um, um, yeah, def- more than a married couple, but not lovers. My number two on on the uh, current uh, active five list that I created, and, and definitely something that's in my top five of all time anime. Yeah, no, yep, that yeah. you said everything. Um, only thing I could add is that the color scheme for that show is beautiful. I yeah. love very, the color very well scheme. Done. Holy, very well crap. done. It just pops. It's, it almost makes you feel like love. <laughs> Just the uh, like it, the pastel like vibrant yeah. colors. Oh man. It, it it makes you think of Easter. Yep. I yeah. got you. It makes it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Rise again, baby. Um, <laughs> okay. My my number one, uh nobody's gonna be surprised. No, number two, right? Oh no, it's your number one. Number yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm I went first this You're- time. <laughs> but this time I didn't fuck up the 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 two positions here. The order and names. <laughs> um, number one is one that if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know pretty much right off the bat right what this one is. Um, but it's gonna have to be uh, Mashoko Tensei. Whoo! <laughs> uh, uh, I think me and Charles <laughs> talked about this the other day, but like it was one of those ones where it just like kind of flew past me on the radar. And because I think with even like when that was airing uh, two years ago, I wasn't picking up 17 to 20 some shows a season. It was more like five to 10 because I, you know, was like, whatever. And um, I seen that part two came out and I, you know, yet again, I seen a forum because I, I scope forums sometimes if I, I want to just be lazy and not think for myself or look into anything. I just read forums. And I seen that, you know, obviously, like I said, season or part core two of season one was airing. And I'm like, I give it a go. And man, that that blew my mind. It's like, excuse me. Um, so you got this main character and it's it is an isekai. Yeah, my number one is an isekai. <laughs> I, I I'm blown away. I thought it might be on your list, and I honestly didn't know. Like when when you got to your number one, I was like, oh, I guess he's not gonna um uh, bring us up. And I think a couple times, like a couple things that you had said as we were building up through the list, yeah. I was like, man, is he he hasn't mentioned this uh, this uh, anime yet. He hasn't mentioned this anime yet. Like in the sense that, like I figured something else would have triggered you to talk about it. Yeah, and I felt like maybe you you, you didn't talk about it because it is your number one. So that's probably why you didn't talk about Dude, it. Dude, the it is so extravagant, and I understand how it's it's slightly controversial. Um, a lot of the. Uh, I guess, yet yet again, I don't want to get political, but a lot of the PC uh, people aren't a fan of it because our main character, um, 
used to be this, I'd say mid thirties, <laughs> if I remember correct. Well, to be honest here, yeah. he was a mid thirties uh, male who, um, pretty much was a shut in neat. He uh, got bullied all through high school, and like at one point, it got quintessential incel. Yes, yes, and he got bullied so bad at one point that he just gave up going to school and pretty much just uh, lived in this apartment that his mother paid the rent for, and he played video games all day, and he became a, a fatty fat and um, hated life and everything, and uh, as it as it always goes, Truck Coon uh, ended his life. And this is all episode <laughs> episode one yet again. One. And yeah. uh, he gets uh, trying to save a girl because uh, he gets kicked out of his apartment because his parents finally stopped paying rent and they kicked him out. Um, and he dies. So <laughs> he gets reincarnated <laughs> as a baby in this completely different world. Like, completely different world where there's obviously, you know, magic and sorcery and demons and... The, it's it's good stuff and the part that all I, the basic isekai stuff yes yes but uh i think the part that a lot of people uh, uh don't like is the fact that he still has his 35 year old brain or his older brain and uh he grows up and we learn about the world building there is i'm trying to think how many languages there are but the 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 There's author not. actually wrote like five six different languages like original languages for the series and he learns the languages and you get to see the world building and the the characters are so good and it's it's 27 volumes light novel wise i do i would not recommend the manga on this one they actually they're doing the manga right now the light novel slash web novel's been done for a while but Oh man, it's the development. You start from point A, and like I guess it's, I guess it's that's kind of a spoiler. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you go throughout his life and just the things that happen to him, and like it's traumatic. Like there's so many things that happen to him, and you get to watch him become this degenerate who is like sniffing, sniffing his his uh, uh sensei's uh, <laughs> panties. And, like, doing all this dirty stuff to go in from, like, to this respectable person who did so much for so many people and learned and grew. It is is so, the world building's astronomical. It is delightful. Like, I've re, I think I rewatched it. I think it's season two just ended. Or core one. God, I fucking hate cores because of that shit. It's not season two, but it's part it's part two <laughs> season one. But I watched after that. I think I've watched it like five times, and it's only been out for like a year or two. And, and I think I still have like three episodes left. I think three or four episodes. Oh, okay. So you're you're almost to the the crossroads too. Mm. Um, <laughs> but like, and like the characters, like I mean, besides we can get past Rudas, they're they're for the most part really likable characters. Um, and the thing and you also get to learn all like their personal self like struggles and things that they need to do to like get to where they need to be and like it's it's really good i i can't stress that enough i watched that first season or the first half and then i watched up to date on season two when it was airing and then i read the late novel in about a month all 27 volumes pretty much a volume a day (sighs) yeah dude it I, i i you know like I mean, like I said, maybe not many people. I mean, it does have very high ratings, but I feel like if you can just get past that aspect of it, because like, let's be honest here, if he's a thirty-five-year-old man in a fucking baby's body, sure, you know, it's a little creepy, but at the same time, what the fuck's he supposed to do? Go for like older women when he's like five years old? Well, that and that's just it right there. <laughs> like, it kind of like it, it, it's kind of the dynamic, right? Like, yes, uh, yep. in the sense of it, it's like. He has this brain that's he, he's thirty five year old, thirty something year old, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to say there. Yeah, but but there, he's yeah. actually not. He's yep. actually a five year old now, right? Yep. And so do we do we treat five year old geniuses who can, you know, do rocket science differently than we treat a five year old? No, we treat yeah. them like they're a five year old because they're a five year old. Right. Um, you know, so it's just a little bit of reverse of that. And and I think that 
it, it looks less cringy because he is a, a five year old and then a ten year old or whatever, you know what I yep, mean? As, yep. as he grows up. Yep. Um and and so so you just gotta kinda think of it like, oh man, that's really crude, but I could see a ten year old doing that, so is it really that crude? You know what I mean? Like Yeah. And then obviously you, know. you gotta love my favorite of the three uh beautiful ladies, uh Roxy. Um <laughs> Oh, that's your favorite? I love Roxy. And her, yeah. her sad ass backstory. Oh fucking A. But yeah, dude. You're gonna you're gonna love season three, which starts July third. Oh. <laughs> We're getting there. We are getting there. And I oh I didn't think it was gonna come this soon. So yeah, that's that's my that's my number <laughs> that's one pick. Said. Yeah, I mean oh she knew it was gonna come that soon. Um <laughs> but anyways, yeah, what's your what's uh what's what's your number one, Charles? <laughs> all right, all right. So so here's what I'll say is is that um conversations with squids uh when, I, when we talked about uh, more than a married couple but not lovers, I was so captivated by that series um and, and, and talking to squids and he was like, Hey, well, you know, if you're if you really like that style, here's here's a few that you should watch. And um so I, I kept pulling up a few that he had suggested or whatever. I did like a quick read of like, you know, the basic information on what, you know, what, what the series is about. I'm like, ah, I, I can watch that, but it doesn't hit. And <laughs> one in particular stood out to me. I don't even know why it did specifically, but um, the first episode wasn't something that was like, oh my gosh, it's so great. But by the second episode, I was so captivated in it. Um, and it was like, uh, like word bombing, man. I just had to keep, keep on keeping on. Um, but the, 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 the on, name of the series on. is, uh, <laughs> the name of the series is, uh, don't toy with me, um, Miss, uh, Nagatoro. And I have to say that <laughs> when the first 12 episodes were done, I was so sad and then realized that there was a season two yeah. and I was so, so happy yeah. that it was, it, I think that I watched, um, I watched probably two seasons and it had to have been, it had to have been two days. It was, Oh, um, I was shocked. Yeah. It had, <laughs> yeah. It had, it had to be two days. And then I finished the manga. I was like that uh, the I, next day. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Honestly. I'm like, wow, that that's shocking because I mean, it's not like you have like a shit ton of free time. So the fact that you develop or d just devour that within a day just it, it surprised me because a lot of people, uh, besides me and like a few others I know, usually can't uh, digest more than like five episodes a day. When I think my record's like 30, 35 episodes a day. But I mean, if there, if if there was thirty five episodes of Don't Toy with Me, you would have, uh, you would have, uh, girl, I, I, you would have, I would have figured it, it out. <laughs> I would have figured it out. I, I really would have. Um, I, I, I have to say, like I said, the first episode. I think, I think the biggest setup for this was is that, um, uh, more than a married couple, but, uh, but not lovers. I think yep. that that stood out so much to me that I, I felt like giving more of that genre uh, a try. And so once I get done with this, the first episode, I was like, hey, you know, yeah, let's watch the next episode. Because, I mean, it was like, I think it was like nine o'clock at night. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, yeah. you know, like, let's watch some stuff, you know. And so I figured I'd, I'd power through it a little bit. And so I, after the second episode, I was like, wow. And then I, by the time I realized that it, it was like 1230. Yeah. I think. Hell yeah. That's and how it goes, like, man. Oh, man. Okay. I, I was like, all right, I better go to bed. Yeah. And so I fell asleep. And I think I woke up at like 440. 4 30 something like that you messaged me and then pretty like, early in the morning <laughs> I, I, I rolled over and i was like i rolled over and i was like eh, i'm not gonna go back to bed so I, I pull it up and i watched probably like three more episodes four more episodes and i think i messaged squids like because there was like some some cliffhanger plot point or something amazing happened yeah. in the story that was just like oh my god this is like oh it's so good you know and 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 and, and to talk a little bit more about it um uh, Squidge released a video uh, um, not too long ago. We'll have him maybe link it in the bottom uh, I can do uh, that. section here. I can do that. Um, where he kind of covered um, a little bit of the conversation. I think that like I just kind of like word vomited in, in, in messages to, to Squids or whatever. And and essentially he was like, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. And then he was like, yeah. he made a video about it. And, and, yeah. and, and, and essentially um, – we, we, we thought about the series the exact same way as far as the, the character development, the, 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 the plot development, and just yeah. how relationships build over time. And, and you're watching these kids 
their, their relationship up. dynamic. You know, they're growing up. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. It grows up and it evolves right before your eyes. And, and it's um, so much so nicer to see I, how smooth they get it than compared to we did. But <laughs> I digress. Hey, <laughs> it's bound to happen to one of one, one of us. Ah, um, right. Right. Um, uh, why not him? Anyway. Um, why so, not me? <laughs> um so so as, as the character develops and, and, and he he becomes such so, you just gotta watch you gotta watch squid's video because literally it, <laughs> i can't do it ju- any any better justice than that video because yeah. that, that's it is nail on the head exactly how i felt how how i thought about it um in in, in, in the story in general and and yeah i of course i had to devour the manga right after and I think I read the uh, the remaining. Because I think that I think I think the, uh, the 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 two seasons goes pretty far into the manga. I want to say it goes like into like uh, chapter ninety. Yeah, it's or it's, something along it's pretty lines. far. So like I think honestly, yeah. at this point, there's oh, oh I would cover about 45, 46 chapters each. I mean, there's probably just about enough for a third season. But I think what they're probably more than likely gonna do because I'm ninety percent certain it's gonna get renewed for a third season. And, like, yeah. with season one to season two, it only took about six months, if I remember correctly, for them to announce season two. So, like, not to, like, speculate because I'm one of those people that I say take it with a grain of salt because unless it's actually confirmed by the studio, I don't. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, even, like, Goblin Slayer, not to get off topic, but, like, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people lost hope on that because I did. White Fox announced season two. And then... A lot of shit happened at White Fox Studio because White Fox yep. has done a lot of my favorite series like ReZero and Utawai Rumino and a bunch of other ones. But like when COVID hit, <laughs> the studio kind yeah. of they kind of fell apart because like ha- like a good chunk of the main directorial staff ended up splitting to make Studio Bind, which coincidentally is the studio that makes Mishuko Tensei. Um, <laughs> and like <laughs> and like. So they like right after that it was like shit, what's the state of White Fox? The only thing they have on their slate right now is the third season of Utuari Rumino. And they still like we to be fair, we still don't know. They like they've announced like a bunch of things about ReZero now, but they still haven't announced what studio's doing it. So I don't know if why I'm pretty sure White Fox is doing it, but like sure. who knows? They I know they hired a bunch of people, but Back to the point that was off the point, off the point. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I get, like, losing hope in, like, a series because, like, it was, like, two years with no announcement. Like, they said season two coming soon. year later, nothing. Like, and then, like, we got, and, and, sure, we got Goblin's Crown, but, like, me and, me and Charles were talking about the other day. It sucks that it's technically only an hour long because you get a 30-minute recap. Like, you haven't just watched the series. And then, I actually didn't finish it because I was like, oh, this yeah. is just a recap. I don't need to watch it. I thought it was a new thing. Did you and watch I just it? Kind of brushed it off. I still haven't finished it yet. I, 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 it, to be fair, to be fair. Yeah, to be fair. I, 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 I've, I've had a lot of uh, – uh, don't toy with me, Miss. Uh, That's true. Uh, That's true. Uh, to, to, to spam watch. So I actually plan on watching – um, uh, crown tonight. Yeah, actually. dude. I say I'm um, probably honestly gonna rewatch it tonight myself. That we're talking about it because I fucking love it. And, and I'm I'm super pumped for season two. I really am. Um, yeah. As far as that goes. And I mean, you um, could kind of tell um, with um, because Goblin Slayer actually went to a different studio. I think that's where I was going with this. But Goblin yeah, Slayer went yeah. for a different studio, and like you can slightly tell that the animations a bit tweaked in the trailer. But I think they're the new studio is gonna do just fine. I it looks good. Yeah. And, like, I, I hate to say this, a lot of people know this about me, but, like, CG in me, mm-mm. unless it's good and, pre- like, it, it, heavily relying on it is what I should say. I hate heavy relying on CG. Right. And, like, I, I, I like actual artwork. Yeah, yeah, like, cell shading everything. It's fucking gorgeous. Like, th- the fact that the only, like, real CG they use in that series is just, like, his armor when he's doing, like, extensive movement because I wouldn't want to draw every single shade of that fucking armor either. But... Right. It's 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 good. It's I don't know where I was going with yeah. this, but it was good. Because <laughs> <laughs> you went off on a tangent because it's good. <laughs> yeah, it is. fucking tangents, man. Then my brain goes, oh, where was I? Where was I? But uh, yeah. Well, and and and, and, to, and to get back on the um, um don't toy with me, uh, Miss uh, uh, Nagatoro. Yes. Um, 
it, uh, my my saddest point is is that it's so hard for these these types of series is to to make them longer. You know, it's not like um, you know, like One Piece where we're talking like thirteen thousand episodes. Hey man, um, we're only on one thousand one hundred and something. Oh, okay, sure, but um, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's it gets to a certain point where obviously they're you know they're they're growing up. You know, yep. like the, the 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 um the main the main character he's 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 in his his third year at this point, um which which for a lot of people I mean I would I would think most most anime watchers understand that that's the last year of high school in, in Japan yeah um uh and and so it's like how do they build this story and I think you you touched on it like a a great example of of how it can come concluded and how often yeah. fulfilled in, in 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 the video link below um. Uh, the plug, and and I I think that that's uh I think I think that that's a really great recap of of how we all hope that this story will will conclude. Yes, um, but I don't get me wrong. I'll also take if they want to just continue on college years and stuff like that and have another six seasons. Like I'm I'm totally cool <laughs> with that. Like don't don't get me wrong. You don't. <laughs> he's, he's like just just keep going. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's let's go to the old folks' home. Fuck it. Yeah, uh, fuck it, let's do Straight it, man. To the grave. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, definitely, uh, um, uh, it, it, it's actually I, I'm pretty confident in saying that um, it, it's pretty close competition between uh, uh, more than a married couple and and don't toy with me, Miss uh, uh, Nagatoro, as 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 my favorites animes that are currently out there right now. And, and I never thought that I could say that about an anime that wasn't. Some kind of isekai, or was it some kind of like reincarnated you know, as a vending machine? Um, I, I'm looking forward to that just because of the concept. To be completely honest with you, <laughs> oh man, I, I, I'm still shocked you didn't have Yuri on ice. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're Number gonna have, we're gonna get them spamming in the comments. They're gonna they're gonna spam in the comments. So I have to watch that. So yeah, like, you're I, gonna I have hope, to watch Yuri on Ice. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not doing it unless unless, unless chat forces me to do. And it, then so. I can rewatch um, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, most uh, people that watch the channel know. I mean, like I I cover that whole season too. Fucking it. it always exciting it's not and the thing is is like it was really hard for me to make a recent list because there's so fucking many like i really 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 wanted to add oshinoko but the fact that there's only three episodes out right now kind of you know yeah but because i don't want to just cock tease somebody you know like like the first episode will just fucking make you ball like i think the third time i watched it maybe the fourth i was with my brother and we had taking, we were taking the state legal gummies in the, in the state. And <laughs> just want to clarify. And uh, I had taken two, you know, I was feeling fine. And dude, that, oh, the main scene came. Every, everybody's seen the fucking show now at this point for the most part. I, that was the hardest I cried. I'm sitting there just bawling. And my brother already knows I'm a puss and I cry at this shit. But like, I was, I was just like, oh. and he's just like, you good? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. But yeah, no, like you said, man, it's, it's hard to limit. But this is just like, like you said, man, it's just kind of a general gist and kind of get to know taste. And I think it's a good icebreaker to get things rolling and kind of know who we are. And dang, you know, it's it's. I mean, it's already, it's we're already pretty much at the freaking at almost out the two hour point already, and it doesn't feel like it like at all. <laughs> so I'm I'm really oh. excited to keep to keep doing this, and like, it's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. And the thing is, is like obviously, like he said, I I was gonna I didn't know when I didn't know if I was gonna do it after because I didn't know how long this was gonna take us. But like, yeah. <laughs> so with like he said earlier, um, yeah, just write comments uh, if you want Charles to watch a series, get it, get him spread out comment it down below and if you agree with that person i mean you don't have to comment it again just like that i mean you can comment it again i really don't care it's just going to build traction for the videos but yes do that and like i'm just really excited to see what you guys have to recommend for him or torture him with because there's a lot out there he hasn't seen and my gosh i love i love this i love and, and, and and we'll probably beat this with a dead horse, but there's literally an anime for everybody. Yeah, um, and 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 that's I think I think that like as I've started broadening my horizons a little bit, I, I've come to realize that, and I think it's really 
amazing. Um, there's definitely going to be stuff out there that people don't like. Oh, um, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. But I, I think that some of the some of the staples from, I think, our, our nostalgic picks and from our, from our um, you know, recent air um, uh, animes, I think that uh, I, 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 I felt confident saying no matter what you're into, I feel like all those animes – are, are worth a watch in the okay. sense that I think you'll still enjoy it or get something out of it. Yeah. Um, I think mine were more, more, mine were definitely more, more bland. I think that m- most people probably have seen those animes. Oh, I mean, um, granted but, uh, half it, my it, list. It people have seen, so yeah, for sure. I didn't go too um, hipster with it. <laughs> <laughs> I could, but what would be, what would be the fun in that be for the icebreaker? And, you know, I don't want to get too hipster with it. You got to keep it relevant. <laughs> Could have named some, but yeah, like, um, yeah, the, the, the cast is going to go on. Um, we're going to keep doing it. Um, um, it, you know, we, we, we appreciate some support, you know, um, you know, liking the videos and, yes. and commenting um, and so on. Yeah, um, if you're feeling really but, generous, uh, leave uh, a subscription and hit the bell. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, um, I, we kind of plan on that eventually kind of just going along with this and seeing, you know, developing the the click for it i know charles is eventually soon here gonna get his own cam so we can get that going and then i know we fuck i mean at some point we could probably even do them in person it's not like we live that far away from each other so that's a possibility someday and then i know we also talked about eventually you know having guests on every now and then you know just friends or see if i know you know just kind of get some hookups get some more bodies in here and just have a good time It's all about conversation, you know, uh, conversation breeds uh, yep. Um, um, yep. intelligence, you know, um, just getting different perspectives um, can go a long way. Um, right. Um, and, and and like I said, every anime, I feel like, um, you know, we, we can all relate to them in some way. And that's what really makes them stand out and makes them powerful and, and gets uh, squids crying. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, definitely um, 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 come, stay tuned, you know, uh, next, next Friday on uh, Squid Tales. Uh, we're going to have some more conversations. Yeah. And like I said, um, I don't know. I, I posted on my last video. The goal is to upload these at noon to one central every Friday, no matter what it's going to be Friday. But it might vary by like an hour or two, depending. But it will be every single Friday. So with that being said, I think we're going to wrap this episode up because we are now hitting the two hour mark. And uh yeah, so anything else you got to say before we uh, wrap up the very first episode of Squid Tales? I feel like uh, we've talked these guys to death for today. <laughs> um, but, uh, definitely looking forward to more conversations for sure um, in the anime world. Uh, so uh, with a little touch of manga and, and not like. Oh, we can talk about <laughs> yeah, fuck, That's fine. I love that stuff. So, yeah. So I guess that's it. We uh, we've we've talked your off. So uh I think we're going to wrap this up and uh, we will see you all next week. And maybe I can, uh, I, you know, nah, we'll, we'll wait. I was going to say maybe I can convince Charles to watch something for next week, but we want your opinions, not mine. So you, you get enough of that in two hours. So this has been Squid. Otherwise you're going to make me watch Yuri on Ice. <laughs> Yuri on Ice. <laughs> but this has been Squids, and, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>